Good day, YouTube. It's uh, Friday, August 11th, 2017. And today's uh, video is about uh, the rebuild of the throttle, the twist throttle on the tiller handle on this. Uh, it's a 1990 model Evinrude uh, six horsepower twin that I bought a week or so ago. Um, this thing had uh, side some runnability issues, which we've gotten through. The issues that I found as I went through it were the uh, twist handle didn't seem quite right. It worked, but not uh, like new. So I thought we should uh, repair that. And the other thing is the propeller uh, was a little loose. Okay, it's a lot loose. And he admitted he pulled this off of another motor. I don't believe it's right. So I didn't even take it off. I just ordered the proper propeller. It didn't arrive yet. So we're going to do a video on the twist handle throttle control on the tiller on this Evinrude. So what we've got down here, I've got a light here, so in case we need it. And what happens is, you see that rod down in there? Uh, yeah, if I can get the light right for you. There we go. That's better. So that rod that's got the hole in it, it goes back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, all the way back towards the end of the handle is slow and all the way forward is fast and uh, you come back to all the way slow there's a stop inside the twist handle which is here and this is this end and this screws in and out so that you can fine adjust how slow your trolling speed is so all the way back would hit a stop down in the back that's attached to this and control your trolling speed. This here is the uh, tether kill switch, but it's been uh, disconnected. The wires have been cut. And for my use for this, as uh, primarily it's uh, for our dinghy on our big boat, um, this thing, if you know something goes bad or boat catches fire or gets a big hole in it, and we need to go, I don't want to have to be fiddling with no tether. So this is not going to have a tether on it. If this was functioning, I would have made it non-functional for my use. I don't recommend everybody take it off because it's a safety device, but that's what I'm doing. So what happened was, is I grabbed this handle um, and to pick up the motor, which turns out not to be the best thing to do, and it came off, which uh, I go, ooh, put that back on, which I did, and kind of nothing fell out. But uh, I realized it came off too easily, and it's got a couple of holes in it, one there and one on the other side. And what goes around uh, this is a series of, there are two of these. These are little plastic pieces. They go on like this. There's a groove right there that goes onto that groove like that. And then it has that little tab right there that goes into the hole on the grip. That hole. Okay? And then there's one on the other side. In that sh uh, shaft with a hole in it that we looked at earlier, there's a rod. And it's this rod. Right here. On that rod uh, goes let's look for it one of these on each side that keeps it in the groove here in this groove but there's one on the bottom and one on the top now mine was missing one of those pieces one of these pieces right here and this one goes on the end focus my camera goes on the end right there and rides in this uh, groove, if you can see that, that it gives you your twisting motion and turns it into linear motion. And uh, by that being missing, what I was left with was this point, which was doing nothing but chewing up the inside of these. So I went online, looked up the part numbers, and tried to buy brand new ones of these. They are a pair, and they are not available. 
So I used the part number and went to eBay and found a used one. I mean one, I mean half of it. So I went in and bought it, it was $22. Um, and then I thought I would take the best one of the two that I had left and repair it. Turns out they weren't too bad to repair. Basically, that when they were where they were chewed up, I just needed to kind of grind and sand them smooth. This is not the one I did. It is uh, this one. So I sanded and ground it smooth, so there's no burrs in it anymore that were created by this point digging in where this was missing. Uh, and armed with the part numbers, I was able to find this lot of exactly what I have for sale, uh, 15 bucks, something like that. And so I bought the lot, which gives me this piece I'm missing, this piece I'm missing, and now I have a spare one of those that I'll probably never use. But you never throw anything away, right? So that gives me all of those parts. So the center of this goes through that rod, and on both sides of it goes this piece and this piece, which keeps it in line with the fixed unit here on the handle, on both sides. And then these round pieces, right in the grooves here or on top of here. So I think the only way I'm going to be able to get this together is to grease it all up, which certainly isn't going to hurt it either, um, to hold everything together. And I arm myself with a metal pan so when, not if, but when the parts fall, they're covered in grease. I'll hear them hit the pan and I'll be able to retrieve them easily. Um, are you ready to watch me try to put this together? This is going to be good. Alright, I'm going to put you on the stand. And let's see if I can put this together. Where y'all can see. And we'll get you in there a little bit. The lighting in here is not real good, so she's going to be a little fuzzy. It's going to be about 8 o'clock. But, you know, I'm one of them guys. If i got an hour's worth of spare time, I don't sit in front of the TV. I have many little projects to do, and I might just as well get to them. So, we'll start off and grease that baby up. Try not to block your view too bad. And we'll slide it in through, what do you know? That worked good so far. Now, for these oblong pieces, might just as well get into the grease there. Sure, do the top one first, the easy one. Down in there. Okay. Grease, good idea. Good thinking, Glenn. Good thinking. Okay, grease the other one. Might be a excessive amount of grease. Well, you can never have too much. Okay, oh, getting it on both hands now. Now, for these little round jobby doos. Okay, we're doing the bottom one first. Might be a mistake, but we're going to do it. Okay. Is it going to stay? Yep. Last one. I ain't lost one yet. Don't jinx myself. Okay. I'm telling you, it's on there. Now, the two pieces. This was a actually a really good piece that I did... Pay 22 bucks on eBay for. Um, let's just go ahead and grease it up. It might just as well work nice and smooth. And I'm just going to kind of put a little pressure out on this tab. To, wow, that's a stiff one. To make sure that it engages with the uh, handle. Okay, and the uh, that's going to have to also engage with the uh, twister. So I need to twist this till I... Oop, there it is. You heard it? snap in place. So now I've engaged that little round piece in that groove. So that's good to go. And here's the one I repaired. It actually came out really good. I wouldn't... I should have tried to fix it before I ordered one. As cheap as I am. I don't like spending $22 I don't have to spend. But I did it. I can't do it in... I can't take it back. I have spare parts now. Nothing wrong with spare parts. Well, if that one's engaged, this one should engage. It should be clocked properly. We're going to push that little tab out to be sure it engages the twist handle. 
Okay. Yes, it's working. Okay. It'll stay together long enough to wipe my hands off. And that grip has grooves in it, so you know, a little bit of grease isn't going to kill it or make it slip or nothing. All I have to do is clock it so that the holes line up. And then this is my indicator for the position on the throttle itself. And line up the holes. The reason I'm hesitating is I'd like to see a little more tension on those tabs. And I want to maybe try to pry those up just a little bit. I can feel it, but... Yep, that one helped. Let's do the bottom one a little more. It'll break it off. That'd be bad. Then I would have to fix the other one. Yeah, that helped. That helped. Okay, wipe the grease back off. Pull that together. Got my indicator. It's up. Line up the holes. Oh yes, much better. I believe it's going to snap in. Hear it? it? Snap, snap. Let's get the light. And action. We have a smooth operator, so yeah, so again this is that uh, adjustment for your trolling speed, so this should be like, good shape, nice, and it's not falling off of there. And now my hands are a little greasy, now I've greased up the handle, but anyway, it's good to go. So the tab's engaged well. Yeah. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. Can't fire it up, it's not in any water, but uh, that's how to put the tiller handle back together. I made this video because I went to try to find a video online because I didn't know what I was missing and how to put the thing back together, so... Just because there wasn't one, I thought when I get my parts, which arrived yesterday, that I'd do my own video. So, wow, she's a smooth operator. Excellent. All right, that's a, that's a wrap. Not really a wrap. I'm not really a wrapper. But uh, let me take it out of zoom. So there's my uh, indicator. So that's high speed and low speed and trolling position and again all you have to do is adjust the troll is uh, screw that in or out it would be faster going in and slower going out all right let's call it a wrap that's the 1990 Evinrude six horsepower two-cylinder two-stroke outboard motor the throttle control is now rebuilt and it will last good forever don't pick it up by the throttle handle again. Note to self. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next one.